Hello and welcome to amainhobbies.com. I'm Gregor McGrath, and today on RC Talk, we've got a three-part series on setup for the new AR7200BX and Microbees Flybarless System. Being the lead heli tech here at A Main Hobbies, one of the most common requests I get is how to set up the Microbeast Flybarless system. And today, we're going to show you the how to's on setup. To enter setup mode of the Flybarless unit, simply hold down the button, letter A will start to flash, and when it goes solid, go ahead and release it. This enters us into letter A, the first part of setup menu. Setup menu A is your mounting orientation of your Flybarless unit. This particular Flybarless unit is horizontal. To change the status of the flybarless unit, in case you have it mounted vertically, simply move your rudder stick one time to the red color. This will put you at vertical. This particular helicopter has a flat horizontal mounting orientation, so I'm going to go ahead and choose the color blue. Now I'm going to push the button one time to go to menu B. Menu B is our swash plate servo frequency. This can be found in your servos manual, and if you can't find this located in your servos manual, I highly recommend you keep this at the purple. You'll see a little asterisk right there. If in case you don't know one of the desired frequency or hertz rates, keep it at the default. This will keep your servos safe. Next, I'm gonna push the button one more time. We're moving on to menu C. Menu C is the center position pulse link. This is for the tail servo. This particular tail servo runs on a 1520 pulse link. So I'm gonna go ahead and change the color until I get the blue light. This gives me my desired 1520. Moving along to menu D, this is our tail servo frequency. Again, this can typically be found in the instructions for your tail servo. If you don't know it, again, go with purple light 50 hertz. This will keep your servo at a safe operating range. This particular servo uses a 333, so I've chosen the blue light. Now we can move on to menu E. Menu E is our tail rudder endpoint adjustment. This is going to be adjusted by moving our rudder stick. Once you've set your endpoints on either side by keeping it from binding on either side, you're going to notice a little light start to flash on the status light. Once the light stops flashing, it has stored that endpoint and you're set to move on to the next menu. Menu F is our tail servo sensor direction. And the way I check this is I move the tail of the helicopter one direction and what I want to do is see the tail blades, as I move it, try to bite the air in the opposite direction, pulling the helicopter back to its last known position. Right now, I see that this is working correctly, so I'm going to go move on to the next menu. Now entering menu G. This is your servo centering. To enter the servo centering menu, you're going to take your rudder stick and you're going to move it one time. But while you do that, keep visual on your swash plate. As you enter the menu, you saw that my elevator servo chattered several times up and down, indicating that this is the servo that I am now centering. To center this particular servo, simply use your elevator stick up and down. Once that is accomplished, you're going to use your rudder stick one more time, keeping visual on the swash plate, chattering my next servo to be adjusted. After you've adjusted that servo, again, use your rudder stick one more time, indicating that you now adjusting your third servo. Once you've done that on your third servo, do not hit the rudder stick. Simply push the status button one time to enter the next menu and it is now stored the last inputs that you had put in. And that completes part one of the Flybarless AR7200 and Microbeast setup.